I'm not afraid that the computer will pass the Turing test. I'm horrified of the day when an AI will intentionally fail it. The age of AI. It is not just a book, but also what we live in. Artificial intelligence is and going to impact the social, legal, technological, financial, every aspect of our lives. But this book specifically, The Age of AI and Our Human Future, is one of the best books of contemporary times. For the reason being that it is a very interesting mix of different authors. The book is as unique as the combination of its authors. Starting from the first one, Professor Dr. Henry Alfred Kissinger. Henry Kissinger was a statesman, intellectual, an author, a political scientist, and you name it, a lot of things. From his time at the top US universities, for example at Harvard, where he did not only teach but also studied, he rose to prominence as the 56th Secretary of State of the United States of America. But he was, although a genius, but not a simple one, he was an evil genius because intellect is never alone. It always has either positive or negative elements attached to it. His role in the destruction of Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, East Timor, East Pakistan is one of the most grotesque roles that there can ever be in such a situation. He recently died but is still one of the most relevant and interesting authors of this book for the reason being that when you win the Nobel Peace Prize for, of course, wars, you can be this big that you can become the foremost author of one of the most important books of the contemporary times. And the next two authors are as relevant as they are important for this book. For example, Eric Schmidt, the chairman and CEO of Google. He made Google from the Silicon Valley startup back in the 90s to the tech behemoth that it is today. He is also the co-founder of Schmidt Futures, where he is one of the most strongest proponents of artificial intelligence in the entire world. He is practically the liaison between Silicon Valley and the slow-moving national security apparatus of the United States of America. We believe that he is the most apt author for this book. Now the third author, Daniel Hertenlocker, is someone for whom it can be said that this book has been tailor-made by him. He is an IT academician and the inaugural dean of MIT Schwarzman College of Computing. The founder of Cornell Tech, which is the digital technology-oriented graduate school created by Cornell University in New York City. Daniel served as the first Dean and Vice Provost of Cornell Tech. And he's a very famous personality internationally in the technology world. He has won various awards for his work in industry and academia alike. Now let's move forward towards the book because the profiles of each of these authors is way too big to be encompassed in one video like this. The combination of technical, academic and foreign policy or international relations expert as authors for this book is something that makes this book an imperative to read for anyone who wants to make sense of the world today and in the coming years. As a summary of this book, artificial intelligence is basically impacting each and every aspect of the lives of each and every person on this planet. Uh, whether it is sociological, technological, economic, financial, you name it. Because in today's capitalist world, each system is linked to another. And since technology is the fourth and the most important factor of production in the economic production function, AI as a general purpose technology is impacting entire value chains around the world. With the biggest applications being in supply chain management, marketing, and the overall economic distribution of the resources. But one may ask whether you are to explain it to a layman or to a child what actually artificial intelligence really is in its basic concept. So we believe it, the most concise definition of artificial intelligence could be it is a general purpose technology that utilizes data to perform analysis that are humanly impossible. That is it. A simple description that can encompass a vast variety of applications and complex processes. To entirely grasp the importance of artificial intelligence, you just have to do some research into how much was raised by artificial intelligence startups in 2020, the COVID year, where American startups raised $38 billion, 
Asian startups raised $25 billion and European startups raised $8 billion, all just for AI technology and its implications. So with the US, China and European Union being the biggest competitors in the AI field, one can get a pretty fair idea of how important that actually is. But the point here for all the philosophers, researchers and practitioners to ponder is how AI will affect precisely how AI will affect our future so that we can actually move towards using it to improve that future. It is once in a lifetime opportunity because all of the things that AI actually is impacting is what strikes at the core of what a human being is. So as a conclusion for this video of the book, before we move to the first chapter in the next video, is basically that the best thing about this book is that rather than discussing the abstract concepts of whether AI could be sentient or not, it goes into the depth of discussing how the paradigm shift of the aspects of reality, which Homo sapiens perceive, is shifting from an inefficient or maybe redundant way of uh, how the world worked to a new world, or as the book is titled, The Age of AI. And that is why the thorough understanding and analysis of this book is of utmost importance. There have been contributions made to this book by various other authors as well. The intellectual bent of whom can be clearly seen in this book. But lastly, before delving into the details of this book in the next video or in the upcoming videos, do visit the website of this book and leave us a comment about what you think about it. We believe it to be a very, very, very well-made, well-designed website, which actually details the journey of the authors and the book itself and where it can lead us into. Thank you. It has all the features a dedicated website for any book or for a product should and it does have. For example, you can get the summary of the book and you can connect to the socials. Then there are the authors talking about the book and artificial intelligence in general. There are various interviews and talks of the authors working in their respective fields. You can order the book online from there and learn all about AI that this book offers in generic terms. There are also comments and feedback about the book by international personalities that range from media, politics, technology and economics. One of the most important feature is joining their email list, which provides updates regarding the books and the upcoming events, and also the work of authors, especially of Eric Schmidt and Daniel Huttenlocker on artificial intelligence.